Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1160, five words that can be formed by characters. This is an easy level problem on Leak Code and I'm going to solve it in JavaScript. So basically, we have a function that takes in words and charge character, a string here. And the words is an array of strings, and charge is a string. And it wants to return, it wants us to find if these words can be made from chars. So for this example, C-A-T, yes, this one can be made C-A-T, B-T, this can't because this is B, and this doesn't, H-A-T has it, T-R-E-E -E doesn't have it. And the amount of counts happen too, like there's only a two limit to A for such. And then once for this one, the input, this one is a pass and this one is a pass. So it, it wants us to return an integer, which is the sum of that length. So it's quite a long problem, that, but we'll give it a shot. So as a high level pseudocode is that first, the strategy I used for this was that create an array and then an array of like the alphabet, the 26, use them in the char code, and then filling out how many times in that index is that one used. Because is this constant lookup when you do it? And that's like one of the benefits of it. So first we wanna create new array of 26 indexes, index indices to zero. And next we wanna, well first we can do that, that could be two. First thing we can do is that we create I'll put variable. Next, we then we gotta fill this up with the charge with the the mount count. So we do for loop through charge, and then we got to change it, change to ASCII, and increment at the corresponding value. So for example, A, it would be the first index, so it will be adding a one to that array. And then we're gonna use the ASCII to get that those values. So now we got the output object, the array filled up. Now we'll have to loop through words and as we loop through words, we have to create a new, create a new temp array from the old array. And then we got that, and then we can keep the count of how many matches. Create count, char count variable. And we're gonna match it the length of it to make sure it's even at the end. So we're gonna loop through that. Now we loop through through the string, loop through the word. Let me just say that. And inside of this loop, we check the the value of that array. Check condition there, condition to see if that current value is in the array. And this is just a high level pseudocode for now. Once the code it will make a lot more sense is in the array, we just increment the char count and then minus the array, the index value from it. And then once we do that, we create condition if char count is equal to the length of the word, we would know to 
add output by the length. Okay. So first we create the output variable that output equals to zero, and that's what we're gonna be returning at the end. Next we create the array that char array equals a new array that is 26 indexes long and we fill it with zero for all of them. And now we loop through chars. And now we get the, the ASCII value for it. So char array and inside of it, we have to do chars I, so that I'll get the letter two char char code at zero minus a dot char code at zero. And we can console log this so you can see. Um, I forgot to increment it. See, so A it appears twice, C appears once, and that's the list of words we have. So once we got this, we will have to loop through it again, not uh, loop through the words for the I equals zero, I is less than words dot length, I plus plus. And in here, we create the new array because we're gonna change it. So let temp array equals char array dot slice because this, if we did we just set it equal to each other, the reference doesn't change. So we need to change the reference, we need to change the reference too, to, so we don't have that reference issue when we do it. And then we create the count that char count equals zero. And now we're gonna loop through the letters in words for that j equals zero, j is less than words dot length, j plus plus words index of i. And inside of it, we have to get I'm gonna make a variable for this to say organize current equals words index i j dot char code at zero minus this. And so if there's a value greater than it, we we can do something, we can subtract it and increase the count. So if temp array has this current is greater than zero, you wanna increment the char count and also decommit this. And then after that, so if words dot length is equal to char count. we increased output. And we return output at the end.
Great, so the, the time complexities is going to be O of, since we're looping here, but charge is going to always be less than words. So it will be words N, however many words in there, and then the length of the longest word. So it'll be O of N times M, and then the space complexity. So we're creating a constant variable here, and here we'll also create a variable, but this depends on how long the words is. So it's just gonna be O of N. So that is how you solve this problem. Thank you.